Hey guys, it's Paula. As you may or may not know, I have just finished my junior year of college, which is really mind-blowing because I literally feel like I'm forever 17. But that reminded me that when I finished my freshman year of college, I made a video titled 17 Things I Learned from My Freshman Year of College. And I'm thinking back to that and I'm like, I want to do that again. So today I am bringing you 17 things that I learned from my junior year of college. You don't get one from my sophomore year because apparently I learned nothing. <laughs> If you've been watching me for a while and you remember when I made that first one back in the day or if like you've just watched it because you just like felt like it, give this a thumbs up. That's amazing. As I explained in the previous one, I chose 17 because my graduation year is 2017. Thinking about that now, it's 2016 right now, so I have a year until I am a real adult in the real world, but I have a year, so I'm gonna calm down, okay. Basically, I just went through my year and I picked out some things that I learned or things that I want you guys to know or just things that, I don't know, I felt like I have changed about me, stuff like that. So let's just dive into 17 things I learned from my junior year of college. The first thing I learned is that I don't like aging. It scares me a lot. I'm 20 years old and I can't really believe it. I saw something on Twitter the other day that was like, remember when you used to think 20 year olds like were adults and were old? And now think about it. You are 20 years old. Maybe you're not watching this. I am 20 years old. I'm gonna be 21 in a month. And that's so weird. So college makes you age really fast and then you get really old and then you don't know how you got there. So I don't like aging. <laughs> It's really fun to work on a big project over the semester and have your name attached to something like really cool. This is sort of a self plug because the entire semester I've been working on a documentary about makeup. It's called Glossed and it's finally done and it looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it looks amazing. So it is actually uploaded on YouTube. I will go link that down below. If you wanna go watch it, if it's something that interests you, please go watch it and let me know what you think. Um, my group worked really, really hard on it, and it's just so cool to have this at the end of the semester and be like, this is what we did with the semester, and it looks amazing. So that is awesome. Sometimes forced friendship is the best friendship. It might be hard to get someone to be your friend, but if you force them to hang out with you and you don't let them say no, friendship occurs. Obviously, if they keep saying no and no and no and no, like, leave them alone at some point, but like, you can probably get some people on your side. It's okay to spend an extended period of time without having a crush on anyone, without dating anyone, and just being a freaking independent woman who likes being by herself and spending time with herself. Everyone in college and high school and everywhere is so, who do you like? Who are you going out with? Who do you want to be your boyfriend? And like, those things are fun. I like to talk about those things too, and I think about those things, and it's fine. But sometimes you just don't like anyone, and you're not interested in anyone, and that's totally okay. There was a point in my year where I was just fed up with the boy situation. I was just like, I don't care. Why should I care? And that's a really cool thing to think when you can just live your life by yourself and not worry about anything else. Does that happen all the time? No, but sometimes it does. Just because you don't hang out with someone every day doesn't mean that you're not still close to them. That was a lot of double negatives. Hold on. You don't have to hang out with someone every day, every minute of every day to still be close to them and to still be their best friend. Friendship conquers all and life gets really, really busy and you can still feel a lot of love towards someone, a friend, anyone else, even if you don't see them all the time. This one is a, a newly learned apartment thing. Life is always better when you have ice cream in your freezer. It's really sad seeing people graduate and not really knowing when you're gonna see them again. When I was a freshman and sophomore, I didn't really have like senior friends. I didn't really know many of the seniors or like felt close to them. So when they graduated, I was just like, oh, they're gone. <laughs> But the people that were seniors this year were just one year older than me and they were in so many of my classes and I worked with them and they taught me so much. And it's just so strange to see them go and to not really know if you're gonna see them again because people end up in very different spots after graduation and you don't know where they're gonna go. If you have four cups of coffee in one day, you will not die, but you will be very jittery and anxious and you might not get much done. So I still love coffee though, so I'm just gonna like keep drinking it all the time. But I learned that don't overdo it. <laughs> Connections are everything. Make them any chance that you get and keep them no matter what. Whether it's a friendship, 
connection, a professional connection, connecting with your family, like you will get so far if you know how to connect with people. If you wanna feel accomplished and like your life has a purpose every day, schedule yourself so that you have like an hour of free time and that's it, you know? Take on two jobs and, and five classes and YouTube and a radio show and don't let yourself have free time. <clears throat> if you want to get to know someone, ask them to hang out. Ask them to be your friend. It's that easy. If you feel happy and confident, it's gonna be a good day. It's all in your head. You control how you feel that day. Sure, there's gonna be days when you wake up on the wrong side of the bed or you're just in a crappy mood and you don't really know why. I've been there. But if you think about it and you think positive thoughts and you think that you're confident and happy because you are, your day is going to be better. When you have unlimited meal swipes as part of your meal plan, you're gonna gain weight. But when you're older and you don't get a meal plan anymore, you're gonna lose weight. And that feels good. <laughs> Work is so much better when you become friends with your coworkers. Just do it, just try, you know, it's great. Napping is very important and keeps you sane. It's an amazing feeling when somewhere that you've been living feels like home. Milwaukee didn't always feel like home to me. I would still be kind of like lost and I felt homesick all the time. And now I just like, I feel at home. I walk down the street at 6 a.m. to go to DJ Maxx and I'm like, like this is just what I do. This feels like home. Where I'm sitting right now, like this is it. This is my home. Obviously, I still feel like a huge connection to my hometown and like where I grew up, but as of right now, like I've been living in Milwaukee for three years and I feel at home and that is so, so cool. And the last thing that I learned my junior year is that life is good. Everything turns out okay in the end. That sounds dumb, but it's true. You stress out about things, and soon enough, they're over, and it's done, and life is good. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it gave you some inspiration. I don't really know. Um, I just thought this was fun to do. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and subscribe so you can see more videos from me. <coughs> Clearly my radiator doesn't know that I'm filming a video. Excuse you. So yeah, subscribe and thumbs up and comment and the things, do the things. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.